right, I thought I'd try and explain myself a bit better. I did a video on YouTube earlier, and there was already one couple to say, well, what are you on about? Um, I was trying to explain that the difference between sort of like what I call these drone X pros that you're seeing on the internet, and I'll show you it again in a minute. Um, you could go to a shop like Menkind. Uh, I don't know if they're worldwide, I'm not too sure, but you can buy a little thing like this, which is a motion controlled drone. And you've got the little handheld thing, and you just control it with, with your hand, Boom, like that. Backwards and forwards, this side to side, you can control the height with a little button there. It's got an auto takeoff feature, auto land. I think it was less than 20 pounds. Brilliant little thing. Got a flight time of about oh, 10 minutes at least. Only charges, takes about 20 minutes to charge. Absolutely excellent. You know, for the money, you couldn't fault it. And of course, you've got the option if you buy it from a shop, if it goes wrong, you take it back. Right, what I was trying to explain that this, what I'm calling the Drone X Pro scam, is actually a scam. There's a lot, you can read this yourself on YouTube, there's a lot of videos there, whether you believe them or not. Is another matter. So I ordered one up. This was £35.99. And you think, okay, Drone X Pro. You haven't got it. It comes in a case, nice little case, carbon fibre wrap, uh, or fake. And all it says on there is E55. So you would naturally assume, okay, right, it's not a Drone X, but what they were saying on YouTube, you get the next thing, which is the Enchin E58, which has got a camera on it, memory card slot. Oh, you think, excellent, brilliant. Okay, so right now you open up the casing. This is where the honeymoon period ends. All right, it's all laid out well. There's your little drone there, your controller, spare batteries, free batteries. Um, uh, charging cable, prop guards. So let's take it out. Let's see what we've got. I'll show your controller in a minute as well. So we've got this, which is really a knockoff copy of a Maverick. DJI uh, and an engine E58. Well, this isn't an engine E58, and the most obvious details are is when you turn it over, you can see there, there's your memory card slot. Well, there's nothing there. This is what I was saying earlier. You put your memory card in, and it just falls inside the body. And if you can hear that, it's still in there. So I've got to take it apart anyway. Right, <sighs> flying wise, I put the battery in it. Uh, yep, yeah, it seems to take off, it does hover, um, not very well, I must admit, and it doesn't fly very well, it's, it's very, it's all over the place, I keep trimming it, and that's inside, so God knows what it'd be like outside. The other problem I was saying with it, you link it up to your phone, and I could probably show you that, if my phone was on, no, my phone's on charge, it will detect the drone on your Wi-Fi, uh, and connect, but when you go onto any app, uh, they recommend well, they give you a little, let's look at a little example. They give you this little sheet here, and it's got a scan code on it. So, well, I didn't have a scanner on my phone, so I downloaded the scanner app. So I scanned it, and it comes up with Wish, which is another for sale site, which is, you know, selling the same crap that you've got here. And I, I will say it is crap. Um, instruction manual, definitely in Chinese, as I was saying earlier. So. They were saying, you know, if you read down the advert when you see these on uh, on eBay, uh, manufacturer unknown, uh, brand E58. But they're not stating that it's an engine E58, they're just saying brand E58. So it's, you know, it's a copy. It is a knockoff copy of something else. Um, the camera doesn't work. You can try linking it up to any Wi-Fi app. That's supposed to be for drones and quadcopters, and you will not get a picture on your phone. So I'm assuming this might even be a dummy camera. I am. I'm not going to bother sending it back because at the moment with the postage and the and the uh, COVID situation, it's just more hassle than it's worth. So all right, I've lost thirty five pound. Um, more for me. So it's a case of the buyer beware. Read other people's reviews on it and make your own judgment. You know. I've flown it once and yeah it'd be a bit of fun but without the camera it's useless isn't it you want that so you can have a bit of fun with it oh, film yourself film you know, around your garden you know have a bit of fun with it um so far no no I mean <laughs> it's, it's you know it's quite well made I must admit it's a shame they go to all this effort to make something in a little case that it comes in you know nice little controller 
to show your controller. So there's your controller, nothing special. The aerials don't do anything, they're just dummies, I know they are, because there's no wiring to them whatsoever. Uh, you've got a little uh, slot that you can well, somehow pull down. That's it. You can pull this down, <laughs> if you dare, for your mobile phone to go in. You know, it's it's all set up, and it's like, why make something that doesn't work? You know, it's like, and I've read other people's reviews on this now, and they've had them where they, they wouldn't even fly. You know, it's like... And trying to get your money back is a is a nightmare anyway. I know it's through PayPal and, and technically you can say, right, I want my money back, mate, and I'll send it back to you. But you know, it's like trying to post it off to someone. And it might be someone in this country who sold it, but it's come from China anyway. You know, so uh, I don't know. I haven't actually taken it out and flown it outside. I've, I've, I've had it up in the room and it, oh, yeah, fair enough. For they say, there's another thing, flight time. Seven to nine minutes. All right, fair enough. Seven to nine minutes, not too bad. You, you know, when you're a beginner, or I've been flying them for a while, so I wouldn't say I'm a beginner, but I'm not. I'm not brilliant. Uh, I think I've got three and a half minutes, four minutes out of it, and then it took about three hours to charge the battery up. All right, they're fair enough. They're a bigger battery. They're a 500 milliamp hour battery, so you'd expect the charge time to be, I'd say, about an hour and a half. You know, this this little thing. It charges up in 20 minutes. All right, fair enough, it's only a 240 milliamp hour, but <laughs> um, yeah, so everything that's been stated on their their advertising on the internet and on eBay is, is just it's just total crap. It really is. Why are they not being pulled up over it? Why why people you know, people are obviously still buying because they're still advertising, you know, and, and when they show their videos on Facebook, it's, you know, Facebook's been flooded the last month or so with this indestructible quadcopter called the Drone X Pro. And this is what it is. This is what you get. <laughs> and you look at the videos on Facebook, and it's not this, it's a it's a maverick. It's, it's a, a mismatch of all different quadcopters, different footage, and they're getting away with it. You know, and it's like, you can't even do them for false advertising, because when they you go down and scroll down the page, yeah, unbranded, it's not made in China. It's, it's you know, it's not, not made anywhere in the world. It's just, a quadcopter you're buying so but to, to advertise it as e58 surely that has got to be false advertising if e58 is a brand name if uh, you know but they haven't put engine e58 on it it just it, i mean it just makes me bloody laugh to be honest it's like <laughs> these people get away with it only the chinese could do it they can make a copy of a copy of a copy and uh, you know they're really good at that and of course giving us Coronavirus. <laughs> it's just like, oh, you know, if you could send it back to them and make the manufacturer eat it, yeah, you know, have a taste, have a taste of that, mate. Like, you know, see what you cop off of that, you know. Oh, anyway, <laughs> it's given me a chuckle, even though it's cost me money. So next time, if I ever buy another one, would you? I'll, I'll go somewhere decent and buy it. I'll buy it out of a shop, or I'll go somewhere <laughs> that's selling the proper thing. Anyway. I've got to go because uh, my tea's on the go. <laughs> Thank you for watching. And uh, again, please, if you see this on the internet and you're tempted by a little drone that you can have a bit of fun with, this is not fun. This is a piece of... Uh...